Hello everyone, welcome to the Age Graceful channel. It's the month of June and the Curve Collab Group is here to bring you another makeup look. Guys, in 2023, what does beauty mean to you in a social media influence world? In my perspective, beauty has always meant to me letting your own natural beauty shine through. Here are a few examples of some women that I think are naturally beautiful. There is a common theme among this group of women. Can you detect what it is? Well, I'll tell you what it is. They all wear minimal makeup. They all let their natural beauty shine. In most instances, they either wear no makeup, very little, or just the right amount. My look today will be one that uses very minimal makeup. Additionally, I will not be wearing a wig. Let's get started. On my most recent Sunday Skin episode, I received an item that I thought was moisturizing cream. It wasn't. Let's get into it. Uh, Redoot Boost Lavender Calm. Redoot. I don't think that I've ever heard of this brand. Or is it Redo It? Redo It Boost. Scan to register. What is this? There is no card in here. I'm assuming it's some type of a facial moisturizing cream. I don't know if you guys receive this or know what it is. I can't even describe it to you because I've never heard of it or seen it. And like I said, there's no card. Let me look at my comments. So guys, the actual pronunciation is Redowit and it's a skin light therapy system. You may use the Redowit skincare device with any of your skincare products. But first things first, you need to register it and you need to download an app. Yes, an app. So here's a photo of what the app looks like. Once the app has been downloaded, you then connect the app to your Redowit skincare device. Once your device is connected, then you add a product. You can select from the drop down menu or add your product manually. Next, the Redowit system will pull up specific information about your product as well as the best way to use the Redowit system on your skin. I entered the 111 Skin Moisturizing Cream, and here are the instructions that the Redowitz system gave me for the proper use of my skin light device. So let's walk through it together. I've slowed down the film here so that you can see that the light is blue. When I turn it towards you, it's going to turn white. I'm going to then switch the blue light to the red light which was in my instructions for the 111 skincare cream. Now to use your Redowit skincare device, you apply your product in the normal manner. Next, you glide the device over your skin. The device will pulsate in five second intervals. When the pulsating stops, then you're to move the device into another position. The device will stop on its own after 30 seconds, and then after that time, the treatment is over. I actually did the treatment twice so that you guys could see. To sum everything up all in a nutshell, the Redowit Boost Skincare Light device ensures better absorption and deeper penetration of the active ingredients in all of your skincare products. 
The Redowit Boost device comes with a handy little bag for storage. It is powered by a USB cord, which I'll also store in this handy little bag. The Redowit Boost device comes in four colors for different skin care concerns. I will leave a link in my description box if you'd like to learn more about Redowit Skin Care Light Therapy. I received this eyebrow pencil in my subscription box on Sunday as well. This is from Anastasia of Beverly Hills and it's their angled eyebrow pencil and the shade is dark brown. Here is a closer look at both the pencil itself and the spoolie end. This eyebrow pencil takes quite a bit of pressure for the pigment to go onto the skin. Additionally, I found out that I wasn't too crazy about the pigment or the shade of this pencil. It is not the deepest of dark browns that I've used, but it will work for this look. I'd like to make a comparison. It took a much longer time for me to apply this higher end eyebrow product than it does for me to apply a much cheaper brow pomade that I've been using recently. Instead of a normal primer, I'm gonna use a primer water today. This one is by Touch and Soul and it's called No Problem. My skin is feeling very soft and moisturized after using the Redowit Skin Care device. Presently, I'm using a skin tightening device. In a couple of weeks, I'll switch out to the Redowit device to see if it makes a difference in my skin care. Instead of using a liquid foundation for my complexion today, I'll be using the Fenty Pro Filter Powder Foundation in shade number 400. Off to the side here, I'm actually preparing two brushes with the powder foundation. I don't want to ruin my powder by taking my brush from the compact to my face and then back into the compact. So here are my brushes. I have one denser brush and one fluffy brush. This is how I'll use them. With the shorter, more dense brush, I'm gonna focus on the center of my face in all the tight spaces and I'll get the powder foundation on in these places first. When you have a moisturizer and a primer on that are a little oily, that can really ruin your powder foundations. So this is a good way to prevent that from occurring. Next, I'm going to take my more fluffy brush and I'm going to go around the perimeter of my complexion and finish up the application. Off camera, I did apply a little bit of blush and I used the toasted shade in the Olimar palette. Next, I'm going to apply some black eyeliner to my waterline. I'm using the Avon Glimmer Sticks in Black is Black. Now it's time for eyelashes. I'm going to use a pair from Kayla, C-A-L-A, and these lashes I picked up at Marshall's. First, I'll apply my Kiss Liner Lash Glue. This one is in clear. It goes on white so that you can see the line as you draw it, but it dries clear. I love the concept of this lash adhesive because there's absolutely no waiting. No time needed for setup. You can just apply your lash. 
I think that this is the perfect product for those learning how to apply eyelashes. It's very boring sitting waiting for glue to become tacky, so this is the perfect product, I tell you. The lashes that I selected today are a more natural length and volume. And for me, for some reason, they take a little bit longer to apply than the longer lashes. I have no idea why, but they do. Okay guys, my lashes are just about in place and we can move on with this look. Here is another product that I received on Sunday in my iconic box. This is a satin lip from Anastasia of Beverly Hills. This shade is called Rose Brown and it's a neutral color. I like it a lot. I in fact called it a bougie color. It just is so natural and beautiful. The only thing that I wish that I could get a little bit more of is a little bit more pigment, but I do like this shade. This is one of those shades that will go with any look and any outfit, any time of the day. So guys, this is what the shade looks like on. I believe that this shade goes very well with my skin tone. What do you think? Guys, this is what beauty in 2023, or in fact, any year means to me. You can go to any event at any time of the day and wear minimal makeup. Be the best you that you can be and always represent yourself. That's what beauty is all about, not what's on trend. I love you. Thank you for watching. Take care now. Bye.